first chance to see the 2017 Chris Doby on the European Tour and what a time he's had a bit of late. A player who, as you may have picked up in Elmar Polka's introduction, a man who made the quarterfinals of the Grand Slam last year and a man who has just been making giant strides and is increasingly bringing himself to prominence as well. Reaching his first final in a ranking event at the Players' Championship in October of last year, just another element to tick off on his CV which is looking ever more impressive he's up against Chris Doby a man who made his debut on the European Tour in this tournament three years ago here in Hildesheim but a man we didn't see at all last year on the European circuit Jamie Bain uh, Dan Dawson alongside me for this one on that evidence you've got to fancy Doby yeah I think so Chris Doby player very much on the up he's been just a, a revelation since just bursting like into life Rufus. game on well, Jamie Baines, the man to throw first in this one. Chris Doby, as you mentioned, just one before we got going. 180, Jamie Baines. What a start. And Chris Doby making his first PDC final back end of last year in Barnsley. I thought we had another Diego, Diego Portella walk on from... Uh, oh, hang on. <laughs> hang on. Hang on. Ross Smith. Whatever you're doing, stop it and watch this. Could it? Could it be in the opening day of the opening Euro Tour event of 2017? Oh, of course it couldn't. Kev Painter's saving it up for later. 57. Yeah. Uh, you were saying about Diogo. Being I thought we had another Brazilian walk on there. It's Samba, Samba de Bedlington. The uh, Terrier remit. 43. Well, look at the margins here. 84 plays 334. Okay, it's on the Bain throw, but 78. Long way off on that. Ooh, he's on the nine. He's left himself double three. This might not be over, you know. 140. Oh. six. Straight at it. Charles the first leg. Jamie Bain. 13 dart hole. That will do him very nicely he does absolutely rattle through legs Jamie Bain he does not hang around 96 another one of the players to uh, earn his tour card this year via the Q school order of merits didn't win outright 44. over the course of the four days but he racks up enough points to finish in the top 12 along with the likes of Darren Johnson who we've just seen batter Robert Allenstein 134 yeah, just snuck into the UK Open as well. One two hundred and fifty quid on the last day that just got him in. Although his campaign in Minehead was ended in the first round by Frosty the Throwman, Mark Frost. And talking of just squeaking through, he had a couple of six-five wins in qualifying as well. Although one of them was against Daryl Gurney. That was arguably the you know the outstanding result of qualifying, the, the outstanding upset, if you like, of the qualifying uh, tournament that took place in Barnsley a few weeks ago. Yeah, Dal Gurney, recent semi-finalist at the UK Open, of course, as Doby. Quarter 120 finalist. off. 140. Yeah. Quarter finalist at the Worlds as well. Yep. And the Grand Prix. Yes, and a former finalist in Minehead at the Players' Championship Finals as well. But Doby looking for a commanding hold of throw here. 13 data for Bain, 14 data for Doby. One apiece. Yeah, this has the hallmarks of a, a good tussle as well that could go a long way. Now, one of three guys from the northeast in action this evening. Mixed fortunes so far. Adam Hunt being beaten by Dimitri Vandenberg, but Paul Nicholson, the asset, is back. Dusting off the shades to record his first one on the European Tour for three years. Surprised he found him actually. It's been a while since he's dug the sun glasses out. Well, Toby will need no reminding that he suffered a, a first round defeat here in October at the end of last season. This tournament ended the 2016 <laughs> campaign. It starts it this time around. Uh, he lost to Ted Everts. Uh, sorry, Ted Everts even. Yeah, exciting young player, Ted Everts. Yeah, beating qualifying inroads. for this by Dave Pallet. Of course, saw Pallet win his match. This afternoon against Vejo Vinica. 
99. But Dobie is a quarter finalist on the European tour. He made the last eight in Munich at uh, Easter weekend last year. It was this time, actually, 12 months ago, wasn't it? Um, Michael Van Gerwen did for him that day. That was when he really started exploding on, you know, he had a run of last 16 Maybe appearances, had that called the final. He's been a changed player since then. 15 off, leaves 93. Needed treble 19 for double 18. Doesn't get it. Dobie will come back. This for a break of throw. Treble 10, double 18. Topsy wants. Yeah, George really nice. Very nice. Really nice. Very smooth, very assured, well, very controlled as well. Game on. Chris Doby has a fatherhood to look forward to this year as well. He does. Congratulations to the clan. He's older than you think, Doby. Yeah, he's 26, is he? Yeah, born in 1990. He's uh, 27 in May. 16. So he's too old for the development tour, so all of his learning is having to take place on the senior tour, not like the likes of Adam Hunt and Dimitri 16. Vandenberg, who've still got that option of playing development tour, though that option is running out for those two, is they? 85 become some of the old stages on the youth tour. Yeah, we talked about Dobie in Munich last year. It was in Munich two years ago where Bain first caught my attention anyway when he beat Kim Hybrex <laughs> on route to the last 16 there. He had a really good campaign that weekend. He looked, you know, a pretty polished player and then big surprise that he didn't make anything last year. Didn't qualify for any of the 10 European tour events in 2016. Yeah, the form has been up and down for Jamie Bain, but he's always maintained consistency in having the island of hair. <laughs> Maximum for Chris Doby. Yeah, Bain 100. threatening the nine data in the opening leg, but since then it's been largely in the main all about Chris Doby, this one. Looking to uh, hold his throw here for a 3-1 lead. Oh, 18 for double 16 was the shot, and he's missed the big number by 31. quite some distance, and as the esteemed Rod Harrington would say, you don't want to miss the big number. Well, you don't. Well, you don't. No, you don't. 57. It's uh, words of wisdom from the great man. Exactly. He's 100% correct in what he says. From world number one. That's what he's talking about. Double eight. Double four. Yeah, I won't want to hang around too much longer, but he gets the job done. Mission accomplished. Three legs on the spin now for Dobie. Man nicknamed Hollywood. 139. He was uh, asking around for potential designs for a, a logo for the back of his shirt fairly recently as well. I'll, I'll just have a quick double check. Yeah, it's uh, not changed. I think there 60. are copyright issues with the Hollywood logo and the Hollywood sign itself, so maybe he's had to watch his step on that point of view. Anyway. Mm. It's not stopped. Certain other players well, oh, yeah. we could mention. There are. Who's the San Francisco 49ers guy? That's a blatant rip off. Renko Van Eyden. That's the one. I think you'll find that our reigning champion here in Hildesheim, Alan Chuck Norris, is treading some <laughs> dangerous ground. <laughs> yeah, we'll see Norris tomorrow for a full illustration of what we're talking about. 105. Norris has arrived, by the way. He was in the practice room earlier today. Settling in, reacquainting himself with the surroundings. Defending champion, Alan Norris. 140, Jamie, you require 57. So 57 plays 87, tops for Bain. Yeah, very nicely Jamie done. Bain. Hold of throw. See if they Chris to throw first. Yeah, didn't want Bain, didn't want Davies to start running away with this, which he was threatening to do. Just the one break of throw in it. 100. And with uh, Bain throwing first, it's the solitary break he requires as well. Should he break again? All well and good, obviously. 135. 123. Michael Barnard and Jonathan Worsley, the men that uh, Dobie dispatched in qualifying for this one. The qualifying for the second European Tour event for the UK players is next week I believe or well, fairly soon anyway it is soon I couldn't soon. tell you before the end of uh, well no maybe not it's maybe early April anyway there's so much darts coming up 93 oh, relentless what's this 
seven consecutive streaming events? I think every weekend we will have darts of some sort. <laughs> Somewhere in the world. <laughs> until June. 125. And then that's the World Cup. Which of course will involve a limited number of players. Maybe we'll have a Brazilian 131. team. 131. The, uh, the campaign is growing. Three. 16 ball. Bullseye. There it is. Game Big dart from the Chris Doby there with Bain sat on 55 to level the match and break the throw. It's 4-2 Doby. That is the kind of stuff that he's been producing on a regular basis and it's the kind of stuff that wins your games. Those checkouts between 80 and 100 under pressure. And Doby is 4-2 up. Mm. And he's... One oh, that steely determination in his eye once again. He's got a lovely temperament, a lovely rhythm to his game, Chris Dober. You say, I mean, uh, Jamie Bain is throwing an absolutely furious pace. He can't get rid of the dark quickly enough. He's not quite Ricky Evans' pace, but he's not far off it. Yeah. Doby maintains a, a very steady rhythm right the way through. 41. And admittedly, he's had a horrible visit there, but in general, it has served him very, very well, particularly over the last 12 months or so. Yeah. Jermaine Wasserman is on stage next, by the way. Talking He's quick. Of. He's very quick. The machine gun. 100. Maybe we've got 90. So, Bain looking set to uh, level things up. Tops he wants, 70. but he will be back. Yeah, no problem going for another 25 there. He can get into difficulties going that route, but with Doby back on 260, it's a great adjustment from Doby to move across and find the treble bed twice. Now there's pressure on this. But you wouldn't know it. Well, it, he throws at such a pace, he's barely got time to register what his opponent's on or even think about it. It's just gone. Yeah. Again, Doby puts one low, but manages to find his way through with the next two darts to the treble 20. Impressive skill to have. Yeah, I was just chatting to Adam Hunt earlier, by the way, he went, when he went for double 11 in that defeat by uh, Vandenberg. And he said normally, 99 times out of 100, he would, you know, instead go for the double 8 route instead, six double 8. And for some reason, he went for double 11. And... Oh, sorry, vice versa, but... Uh, 140! He said something just overtook him completely on stage, like a, a presence. For a presence? And he just didn't know what he was doing. He just didn't have time to readjust. Before he knew it, he'd, th he'd thrown his... 100! Far from normal. Yeah, I did think he was throwing relatively quickly. I mean, it's nowhere near as quickly as Jamie Bain, who is averaging 101.4 right now. 45! That drags it down below the 100 mark, but this is a good standard of darts we've seen from these two. Doby is going to get two visits from here to see this off. Yeah. Can he do it? Well, surely he didn't stay there now. He wants to. Yeah, they see that's the danger. Yeah. Because now, ton 40 from Jamie Bain. Gets him down oh. to... 136. Yeah, lovely stuff. Now, the 83 was good from Doby. 104 would be... Fantastic as well. Double 16. Ooh, now then, Jamie Bain. He's bought himself the opportunity. And the Scotsman takes it out. 13 dart break of throw. We've got a level game here. And Chris Doby is not having things all his own way. One missed dart at double 16 there. For 104 checkout. That would have put him 5-3 up. Now it is very much anybody's game. And Jamie Bain has the advantage of throwing first in two of the remaining three 100. legs. But he only managed to rattle in 58 with his first visit. Doby could have made more of that. 58. Back-to-back mm, -back 58s. Not good enough. Doby, can he pounce? Well, that 140. Be. One hundred. Mm. Fifty nine. One hundred. Yeah, who will blink first in this leg? Both players taking a very steady 
pace towards the finish line here. Nine Just four. sneaking into the treble 18 by the skin of its teeth. Yeah. He could have been in a spot of bother had it not. Well, the Dobie is consistently low with his first start. It's making Richard life difficult. He has been pretty good at finding his way to the 60, even though he's made life difficult for himself. But this looks pretty good. Looks pretty good, Chris Dobie. Looks very good. 108 checkout for a break of throw. He couldn't find Chris the 104 in the previous reverse. leg, but he's made up Game for it there. That's a break straight back. Dobie thrown for the match. Advantage to the man from Bedlington. Yeah, and he could so easily have derailed himself there when he just found that treble 18. But that's definitely got him back on track. 100. Had he somehow strayed into the single four, he would have been on a finish of 158 and then he would have been in all sorts of trouble. But Dobie here making the perfect start to this all important 10th leg. Don't want to be taken to a decider here on the Bain throw. He'll want to get the job done here and now, but Bain still in business. Well, we're level pegging again now. Chris Dobie starting off perfectly. Only 57 to follow it up, but great response. 140. 1 2 4 for the match. He is going to get a go at it, Chris Doby. 12 data on your own throw. There's only one way you break those, and that's with perfection. And that doesn't happen very often on the European tour. Not over the last few years, at any rate. It used to happen all the time. But Chris Doby to close this one out. He's got to get a dart. 14. Gets the treble. Double 11. For 1 2 4 and a 6 4 win. Misses outside Chris Doby. And Bain is left with a 1 2 9, which is not anybody's favourite out shot. Treble 20 ball. Gets the treble, bullseye. Oh, Jamie Bain has taken it assembly. out to stay alive. Jamie Bain. What a shot Eleven from Jamie Bain. Jamie he has Robert. the throw in the decider. Jamie. Chris Dobie has missed a match dart. And one of the highest profile players in action Whoa. on day one of the German oh, Darts Championship nice. could be being dumped out. Yeah, one of only two seeds to come through the UK qualifiers. Mervyn King was taking the distance as well. Doby is going the distance here as well. Crucially, King got over the line, but will Doby? Bain, perfect start. 59. But as Rod Harrington would say, he's halved it there. Doby has a chance to get back into contention here. Needs a treble desperately here. Six you can see him muttering to himself. He knows he can see this game is slipping away from him. Jamie Bain. He fired in a couple of maximums in the first leg of the match. Nine, He's fired, he had to wait until the very last leg to produce another. But what a time to do it. He's left himself 170. And Dobie, the troubles have just dried up. 58, Jamie with 170. Well, let's see how these first two darts shape up before we start getting too excited. Not to be, 90 remaining. Yep. 105. Sensible ploy, because uh, Dobie, let's face it, is stranded on 300 here and he can't land any punches once again this is all 60, coming good for Jamie Bain at just the right time tops he wants for the match Shot. and his and finishing match, at time today exemplary and it's exemplary once again and arguably the biggest upset of the weekend so far the seeded player in qualifying Chris Doby looks in good shape at one stage in that one he led by three legs to one and even at 5-4, he missed a match dart. And Bain recovers. And Bain pulls off a very, very notable win indeed. Joe Cullen is his next objective tomorrow in the second round. And Doby once again in Hildesheim has Thomas fallen at the first Bain hurdle, Bain just as he did in October of last year. We will hear from Jamie Bain in due course. Chris Doby is preparing for a trip back to the UK. On the stage next, just to remind you, Jermaine Wassimena against the sole surviving German now, Bert Roy. Applause for Chris Doby. Und wenn ich das richtig im Kopf habe, war das gerade der höchste Average, der bislang gespielt wurde. Jamie, congratulations. I just said it was a high quality match. Very, very good. Yeah, definitely. Chris is a good friend. Um, he played awesome. He missed a couple of big checkouts, but that's the arts. You have to take advantage. 101, the average, your average, the highest I think in the tournament so far. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you only get better. Um, yeah, happy with the performance. Um, Chris was ahead to start with. I came back and what more can you ask for? Is there the feeling that when you can keep that level that you have a chance against everyone on the field? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, you wouldn't turn up if you didn't think you could beat anyone, you know what I mean? So I'm here to win it. I'm not here to get beat in the first or second round. I'm here to win it, so. That's good. See you tomorrow again. Thank you very much.
Jamie Bain. Er sagt, er ist nicht gekommen, um 